So Father, today we want to thank you because you are good all the time. You are good, you are faithful, you are just and and you are Lord of all. We thank you that in a world of constant change, you never change, but you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we see you tonight, Lord. We see you exalted upon your throne, your throne which is established. And we recognize that you have been given the name that is higher than any other name. We want to thank you, Lord, that today we belong to a kingdom that is unshakable, a kingdom that is advancing, a kingdom that is everlasting. And we declare that of the increase of your kingdom, Father, there will be no end. We proclaim tonight that you, Jesus, are Lord. We declare that you rule and reign, that you are Lord over the nations, that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. And Father, we gather tonight to pray for our town where you have planted us. We pray for peace in this place. We pray for health in Jesus name we pray for prosperity we pray for our schools we pray for our hospitals and and those working in the emergency services and we speak peace and blessing and favor in Jesus name we pray for leaders and those in positions of power that they would have a wisdom that comes from you we believe father that you have chosen us for such a time as this And we believe that we have been called to serve your purposes in our generation. Thank you that you have planted us together in this place for purpose. We believe and declare that we are living in days where the Holy Spirit is moving in power to restore lives, to transform communities, to bring light where there is darkness, peace where there is chaos and joy where there is mourning. Cause men and women to turn their hearts to you, Lord. We're hungry to see you move, Father. Spring up faith in the desert land, Lord. Springs of water where there is dry ground. Life where there is death. We pray that from our homes there would be an overflow of life, an overflow of your life. That our homes would be beacons of light and life. We declare today that you would find a people here who are ready and available to obey your word and to be used by you. A people who are passionate to be used for your purpose. That when we hear your call, we would respond with, send me, Lord. Father, give us eyes to see the harvest that is plentiful. Give us your heart that is hungry for the lost and the broken. Give us hands that are ready to demonstrate your unconditional love. We are open vessels to be used by you. Find us available, Lord, to go where you call us to go, to speak when you call us to speak, to give when you call us to give. Father, we want to thank you for what you're doing in these days in us and through us. Above all, find a grateful people. We are so glad that you have chosen us, that you've saved us, that you've placed our feet upon a rock and given us a hope and a future. And in all that we do, Lord, be exalted. Let your name be lifted high. Let your name be exalted, for yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. We hope you are encouraged. During the month of August, we have switched our Sunday church gatherings to Zoom at 8pm. You are welcome to join us for this and meet our church family. Please pop us a message or send us an email for all the details. not be together physically right now but we are definitely together in heart and purpose you see his economy still works in a time of crisis his stock market hasn't crashed he's not nervous and the shelves of his supply of course will never run out there's a famine going on but Isaac takes his stash of seed and rather than hoarding it he plants it seed doesn't grow at a time of famine but his did. Now at a time of crisis, we must not close our hands in self-protection, but we have to continue to sow generously because God has made so many promises to us about our future. 
God has got this amazing ability to take what the enemy intended for harm and destruction and turn it around and transform it for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. God has really been building us up in our identity in him and he's been reminding and encouraging us of his promises over us. So which one of you by worrying could add anything to your life? This isn't a time um, to give in to anxious thoughts or worry, but a time to firmly believe and stand on the promises that God has spoken to us. And so my testimony today is really just that um, we've seen in our own house how God has made dancing a permanent fixture of our home. And that's just an amazing thing to have that in the midst of adversity, in the midst of difficult situations, we're singing and we're dancing and we're praising God. And we've really seen that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Being around the best people I know currently, I have a second family now. And I, I acknowledge every single person in that church as my other family. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Hi all, just wanted to say uh, love you all and miss you all and uh, hope you're doing okay during these strange times. Be safe and be kind and shine bright in everything you do and I miss you. Hallelujah. Guess what guys, we've made it four weeks in lockdown. When I gave my life to Jesus, I came to realise that God was my father and he was a faithful father and he would be there for me and he was never let me down uh, and he'd always keep his promise and would always be there for me. For anyone who's listening who's never given your life to Jesus, this is an opportune time for you to do it. I hope you've been enjoying the sunshine as much as we have. And <laughs> um, what's happening after that love? You're preaching. I am preaching, <laughs> yes, so I'll be sharing. I can look back on the past and know that because of what he's done in the past, I have hope he'll he'll do it again and in verse 25 it says that this woman can laugh without fear of the future and despite everything that's going on around us right now that's exactly what's happening for me I'm experiencing exactly that we've seen people who have no prospects for work come to a place where doors have opened and they've stepped into employment we've seen people who are lonely placed into family fear taken away and come into a place of hope I really hope and pray that today you discover how good God is and that he's a God of hope and you can really put your trust in him I think that's right there are three of them three videos on our Love to Philly YouTube account um, on Tuesday is our Facebook live prayer time we had an awesome, awesome time, time last week with the yeah. Now I live in a hope for the future that I know is certain. In a world that is changing, Jesus is unchanging. And God reached out and he lifted us up and he set our feet on a rock and he gave us a hope and a future. And our hope is not based upon what we see, but upon what God has said. When I hear a lie from the enemy, I come to the word of God. And to all the church, let's keep encouraging one another. Stay in contact and see you on soon. We miss you lots. Somewhere. I always wanted to do that. Lockdown does not mean that the church is not working. I'm just popping on here to remind you of six things that are going on just for you in the life of our church. A round of applause and a few woo. Thanks guys. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. I'm just really thankful just to know him because when you know him things are just never the same again. God's presence is real where you are right now. Covid has not put uh, his plan on pause or on lockdown. You take hold of your future by taking hold of him. So make sure you stay tuned um, and that you have your ears and eyes peeled. I just want to take a little bit of time just to let you know what's happening with the uh, kids ministry at the moment. When I became a Christian my life completely changed. I realised that, um, that God had a purpose for my life um, to live for him and not for myself. Having that love that surrounded me was made such a difference. It's like a lifeline. If ever there were a time for the church to be talking and proclaiming and demonstrating hope, it is now. 
that we might be bringers of hope, channels of God's life and peace. The commission and the mission of Christ was to bring hope, a hope that could bring people into new life and purpose, all found in Jesus. As people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. A movement of hope across this nation as God's people demonstrate and proclaim through their lives the unconditional love of God. Psalm 118 verse 22 to 24 says, The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing. Okay, love. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. I just love that. Good morning. Welcome to Love Caffilly Family Church. And we will give you some thumbs up likes. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. As the story goes, the walls fall down flat and become the very ramps that allow the whole army to go just straight in and take the city. And if you sense your feet are dirty from the walk of life, don't, don't give up. We also have loads of midweek activities going on for our kids. Dr. Roger Aubrey is with Fantastic. us again today. So hope in God looks to the future with a confident smile and peace. And it says, do you know everything will be all right? Everything will be all right. And if that's all you can say today, then say it to the Lord, say it to yourself, say it to the people who are with you. Everything will be all right. Well, as our morning gathering like this, we will be having a Facebook Live worship and prayer evening. We have a new arrival. Yes, Alan and Lorraine Hancock have had their little boy and his name is... We just want to give a little shout out to Ray. This is not a time for being downcast or feeling sorry for ourselves, but it's a time for rejoicing because the Lord is doing a new thing. There's one voice we can listen to and there's one place we'll always find mercy and grace. Uh, just here to let you know about the online cafe that's happening this morning. I want to remind you today that what he has started in you, he will finish. Am I giving myself to that which is temporary <laughs> or that which is eternal? When I, I surrender myself to him, when I seek to serve his purposes, I'm going to gain something that I'll never ever lose. We just wanted to encourage you both, parents and kids, that you're doing such a good job in this difficult time. Tuesday just gone was an amazing time. The presence of God was there, it was fantastic. In a world where things are there one minute and gone the next, the kingdom of God will last forever. He recognises that actually this world is just temporary, but his inheritance is going to be eternal. The church just held a special place for Paul. Paul loved the church in Philippi. When we have perseverance, that brings character. Persevere, because if God's put it in your heart, then he will make a way for it to happen. Go away and read it again and be emboldened to start digging into it because there's so much more. 